Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss the classification of nystagmus. This is part 2 of the video. I hope you have seen the part 1 of this video. As we have seen in the part 1, there are 5 different types of classification. I have discussed the first two varieties of classification in part 1. I am going to discuss neuropathologic and the most comprehensive classification part 3. In this video, I will discuss the clinical classification. Coming to clinical classification, clinically the nystagmus is divided into jerk nystagmus and pendular nystagmus. The jerk nystagmus is further divided into the nystagmus which is seen on primary gaze that is looking straight ahead. The second is gaze evoked, the nystagmus which is evoked by gaze in right, left or up or down. Third variety is positional that is induced variety of nystagmus which is provoked by certain positions like Dick's Halpack maneuver. The next type of jerk nystagmus is dissociated nystagmus like there is dissociation between the nystagmus of right and left eye and other varieties. Coming to the primary uh, type of the jerk nystagmus, primary type of jerk nystagmus could be either pure variety or it could be mixed variety. Okay, So the pure variety can be up beating, down beating, pure torsional or pure horizontal. The mixed type of primary jerk nystagmus could be a combination of horizontal with torsional or vertical with torsional. The vertical with torsional can be a beating torsional or down beating torsional. The second variety of jerk nystagmus is gaze evoked. It could be either gaze holding nystagmus, peripheral vestibular nystagmus, rebound nystagmus or Bruns nystagmus. The positional nystagmus could be either paroxysmal or could be static. During certain position, for example, a Dick's Halpack maneuver, the nystagmus may last for a certain amount of time, which is called paroxysmal, or the nystagmus could be without any fatigue, that is called as static. So, the paroxysmal variety of uh, jerk nystagmus is seen in pathologies of posterior canal, lateral canal, and anterior canal. The dissociated nystagmus is seen in internuclear ophthalmopegia. As we know, in internuclear ophthalmoplegia, there is nystagmus of abducting eye and paresis of the adducting eye. And the other variety of jerk nystagmus could be convergence retraction nystagmus. Coming to the pendular nystagmus, pendular nystagmus could be congenital. So congenital pendular nystagmus or there it could be acquired pendular nystagmus or it could be uh, pendular nystagmus associated with visual loss. Or there are specific varieties like spasmus newtons, oculopalatal myoclonus, seesaw nystagmus, or oculomasticatory myorrhythmia, which is seen in Whipple's disease. At this juncture, we'll discuss about the vestibular nystagmus, which is one of the most common variety of nystagmus. The vestibular nystagmus could be either primary, it could be gaze evoked, or it could be positional. Each of these types could be seen in either central or peripheral vestibular lesions depending on further characteristics of the nystagmus. It also depends on vestibular structure involved as well as the disease in question. In primary, uh, the nystagmus could be pure variety or mixed variety. If it is a pure variety, it is central. If it is a mixed variety of nystagmus, it is usually peripheral. Coming to gaze evoked nystagmus, it could be either central or peripheral in origin. The peripheral vestibular uh, gaze evoked nystagmus is classically seen in acute unilateral vestibulopathy. It is unidirectional, that is, the fast component beats towards the normal ear irrespective of the gaze. But the central vestibular nystagmus is typically bidirectional, that is, fast component beating towards the direction of gaze or sometimes it could be unidirectional in case of fascicular involvement of vestibular nerve in multiple sclerosis. If the positional nystagmus is paroxysmal, the most common cause is 
benign paroxysmal positional vertigo which is seen in pathologies of different canals that is peripheral variety if the positional nystagmus is static or not fatigable it, if it doesn't fatigue then it is of central in origin thank you very much for watching this video